Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create an email forwarding rule for a user uh, when it's a he or she is suspended. Um, first, the manual way to do it is um, to go to Google Admin, search for Gmail, or go to Google Workers Apps, Google Workers Spaces, and Gmail. Down here, um, you find routing, click on routing. And here you can, uh, if you see email forwarding using recipient address map, configure, and then here you can create um, a mapping for to forward a user's email address to another one and whether that user is suspended or not. So uh, this will work even if the user is suspended. I mean, in a normal uh, scenario, if the users are suspended, all the email sent to uh, that user get bounced back. But this one, um, the, catches the email before being sent to that email address so wouldn't know if it's sub, uh, suspended or not and gets forwarded but as you can appreciate this is a manual work and unfortunately Google has not exposed any API to automate um, these so if you want to really do it um, when the user is suspended and keep the user suspended this is a way to do it however where I we understand you know um, as being an IT person, you don't want to add another yet another extra um, task to your daily tasks, uh, especially if you're working in an environment where there's a high turnover of uh, contractors and employees, so you, uh, a lot of users get suspended, etc. So um, the good news is that there is a workaround uh, to achieve um, the same, uh, same result uh, using um, Zenfee by automating uh, these steps. So the idea is that uh, we uh, want to create a flow which uh, runs as soon as a user is marked as suspended. In the flow, we're going to uh, uh, take a few steps. Uh, first, we're going to um, uh, reset the user's password and uh, update all the uh, password recovery uh, channels like email and phone. Um, and then we're going to create a, a forwarding rule to forward the user's email address uh, to his or her manager. And finally, we're going to unsuspend user. So the user wouldn't be in suspended um, mode any, uh, anymore. However, he or she would not be able to access the account because we have you will have uh, changed uh, his or her password and all the recovery information. Now let's get it started. I'm going to create a flow which is start uh, using a Google directory trigger. already have got a uh, connection there the, and the event we are interested is in interested in is user suspended so first step we want to um, let's look up uh, the manager of manager of the suspended user we've got a connection here and I'm gonna I'm interested in looking up the manager of the user which just got suspended uh, next step, I want to generate a password, random password, so I can update the user's password. I'm happy with the information. Um, and then I want to update uh, user. So I want to go ahead and update user's password and all the recovery information here. I'm going to type um, user email. And the fields I'm interested in updating are password, um, recovery email, and recovery phone. So password, I'm going to set it to the um, the password we just generated. If you want, you can uh, forward the copy of DC uh, password to yourself as well uh, um, as the IT admin. And the email, you can set it to IT at um, test. Then fill up home and... Um, this one we can say to the six one. I uh, just want to make sure I've got a number correct. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So I've got I've got that. So now that we've updated user information, and the next step is to create an email forwarding rule. Uh, just say forwarding, and I'm interested in create forwarding address. Um, let's configure this action. Already I've got a connection for this one. Uh, this one needs a specific type of connection. Um, here, um, if you click on plus button and click learn more, it guides you how to create this connection. 
but hitting it, I'm going to go and say email, and I want to create a forwarding rule so that the email gets forwarded, the emails get forwarded to the manager's primary email address. Uh, and next step is to activate that forwarding rule. All the same steps. User email address, and this one would be the primary email address of the manager, which we just looked up for Google Directory. And finally, after I've done that, I'm gonna go and on suspend the user. Um, so remove the user from the suspended mode, so the emails actually get delivered to the inbox and then get forwarded. So I'm gonna say, which user do you wanna unsuspend? Go the user which got suspended and set the suspended to no and set archive to no. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, so I'll give it a name. Wait forward user and press publish. I've got a test user here already. Um, if you look at the recovery information is set to these values. As soon as I go and say suspend, we go back to Zenfi. I believe the instance of this is already running. And it has already updated the user information and has or is already done on suspended the user. So if we come back here, I'm gonna do a refresh. So if you look at it, the recovery information got updated, the password has gotten updated, and um, also the user, um, Google is catching up still, is in unsuspended mode, and any email going to that inbox from now on gets forwarded to this email address because this email address is configured as the manager's email address. Um, so going back to the flow, I just also want to highlight uh, uh, with a few steps, you can put this process on autopilot and free up a lot of time from your day-to-day -day, uh, uh, day -day, uh, work. But uh, if you wanted to, you can easily uh, add other steps like approval steps, you know, dragging and dropping an approval. If you need to review the task before uh, or down here before the user is actually unsuspended, you can do that, or if you want to get managers to review all the information before all these are uh, executed, you can easily do that by uh, through a simple drag and drop. Well, hopefully that helps um, you operate a lot more efficiently and free, your, um, free you up from some uh, manual task. And please let us know in if you have any questions or comments. Thank you very much.